Hello my friends, I'm Harry from Harry's Gameplay Channel and I'm going to continue to play Days Gone. It's a Ben Studio production and this will be the 103rd episode and I'm streaming live from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Welcome to my stream. Hope you guys are feeling great and feeling wonderful. Uh, the weather here in Philadelphia uh, temperatures are 69 degrees Fahrenheit and it's sunny and it's 10.01 a.m. in the morning Eastern Time. Uh, please take care of each other, take care of yourself and please check on the elderly, make sure they're doing well. Thank you. Now I'm going to walk you through the steps I got to take every time, or you have to take if you want to do live streaming. Um, give me a minute or two. And we're going to go into channel content. And then we're going to end, uh, click on the title of the stream, which is Days Gone. It's a best studio production. And that's going to take us into the video detail window, where you're going to see a description box. Enter the description, describes the game to our friends. That way they know what the game is about. And then we're going to scroll down. And we're going to see playlists. Create a playlist always for your games or any genre that you do. And in this case, I do gaming and the playlist is Days Gone. I'm going to select that and click on it. A little bit further down, you're going to see a box that says tags. Make sure the tags you enter are about the game only. And also the system you're streaming from. I'm streaming from PS5, so I'm going to select those tags. And a little bit further down, you're going to see a box that says um, language. Select English. Um, recording date is today, which is the 21st of September 2020. And stream location is Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I'm going to select that and click on it. Uh, scroll further down and see category. I just streamed to a category so viewers can find it more easily. So we're going to select gaming since I'm doing gaming. And then enter the title of the game, which is Days Gone. It was released on 2019. We're going to save that. And then we're going to click back to channel content. Where well, we're going to see a live now and then the title of the game which is days gone right below that is a wi-fi icon click on that and that's going to take us into the live control room where you're going to see uh, stream settings analytics viewer activity and stream health also a window where you can chat with your friends thank you hello team good morning simone barbara hello my friends welcome this morning i hope you guys are feeling great I feel wonderful. Uh, thank you for the like. Uh, and please give me a minute while I enter a message from my friends on the chat. Thank you. Then I'll continue playing. Hello Memo. Hey, what's up my friend? Uh, thank you guys for joining me this morning. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, turn on all notifications so you won't miss any gameplay action from Harry's Gameplay channel. And also, um, there's over 900 live stream videos that I've done, about 20 different games that I play. You can watch them anytime, any place, anywhere. Uh, just do me a favor and smash the like button to help the channel's algorithms. Also, if you want to become a member, you could join for only $4.99. It's a special offer. You get special incentives, um, uh, such as uh, playing online when I start playing online live. And uh, the Super Chat, anytime you can use any of those stickers, to you just say thanks and support what I do. 
and there's also two apps on the channel the cash app and the PayPal app that you can use to make any donations um, for Harry's Gameplay channel thank you so much guys I truly appreciate that everyone that subscribed thank you for your support and uh, my goal right now is 2000 we're almost there so please subscribe thank you all right let's continue playing Andrea Nasarov, hello my friend, welcome, Master Gaming, thank you for joining us this morning, Ting, thank you, um, Simone, thank you, and Memo, thank you so much my friend, and Andre Nasarov, thank you, thank you guys, thank you all, thank you all, thank you very much. Okay. Uh, we're going to press triangle, save our progress. Where is my motorbike at? Okay, let's go towards the bike because I cannot save unless I'm standing next to the bike or on the bike. The motorbike. Okay, and let's continue. Very strong. Got you. Nice. Uh, he travels 40 miles per hour, so he's very fast. Uh oh. Up here. An infected bear. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. collect this bear meat because it's infected. If it would have been infected we could have collected meat and sell it at the camp. But no. Not that bear. And then we're gonna craft some of the items so that way we can make room for other items. I'm missing some cans to make the attractors. Always need scrap. And we're gonna search this area look an alarm clock. Um can't pick it up. The bat, I have my own melee weapon. I don't need that one. We're gonna search up here, see what else we find. See what else we find. Uh-huh, we found a cave. I'm hoping I find what I'm looking for. Okay, so we have a pickaxe. Uh, two pickaxe, actually. We don't need those. We have our own melee weapon. Come on, please give me what I'm looking for. Come on, come on. Nope. Nope, not in this cave. And just some pickaxes that we don't need. Now, if you need them, all you got to do is press triangle. And you... Uh-oh, I hear something else. We have a waterfall. Beautiful, look at that. Real pretty. Let's go search the opposite side. I'm going to search down there on the shore of the river.
a neophyte. Hello, my friend. Welcome. Welcome. Hope you guys are feeling great. I had about four hours of sleep. I'm a little bit tired, but I'll, I'll snap out of it. <laughs> Hope you guys have plenty of sleep. Uh, there was something here, but I already picked it up. That is real pretty. We have some gasoline, kind of gas. I want to throw it over there. Oh, I didn't go too far. And I'll pick it up on my way back. Let's climb through here. Now he can go in the water as long as the water is not too deep. Okay. Am I going to climb? No, we can't climb, even though it looks to be climbable. Let's search this area. Let's see what's up here. Nope, a couple of rags. I just made some room. There's another one here. Yeah, when you guys play, always check these um, information bulletin boards. Sometimes there's stuff there that you need to uh, pick up. So, don't overlook them because you might have to come back later and look for it. Again. <laughs> Yeah, right now I'm looking for about, let me see what I need in this district, on this county. Uh, we need two of the Intel Nero, and this will be 100% completed. that would be a lot of fun right a little waterfall like that you get underneath of it and get wet okay we have a Nero camp there I uh, already have searched that area so let me look real quick to see if I overlook something a two by four and a rag I'm up here. Nothing there. Now, at one point, this was full of the enemy. The enemy was here, so. It first was Nero, then the enemy came in, and they defeated Nero, Intel, and then the the ambush um, group took over the militia group. But then we came along with Deke, and we defeated them, so now the camp belongs to Deke. So we could come here any time and search for supplies. As a matter of fact, there's a can right there, so now we can make an attractor. Nice. 
and also you could um, buy ammo uh, there is a a locker where you keep your weapons where you can switch your weapons if you want to or if you need to there's also a bed not that one that you can take a rest As you can see, there's a lot of uh, gurneys and stretchers for people to sleep on. Or this was a, a like a little um, camp uh, with nurses and doctors uh, to help the sick that got infected. Nice, another clock, alarm clock. What else do we have? It's another rag. I have enough. Then we have this area up here, which is also part of the camp, the Nero camp. So yeah, all this area was it was full of, of, of zombies and, 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 and the militia groups. So there was a lot of zombies too, guys, a lot of them. Okay, we got plenty of that. Yes. Yeah, I'm doing good, Neo. I'm doing good. Thank you for joining us, friends. Then we're going to keep searching. I'm going to climb up top. Make sure there's nothing up top. I can see some helicopters that are all broken. We have some alcohol. We have a, a growler. They call those growlers. You need those to make the um, the napalm. Those right there. But I have enough max capacity so the lockers are empty and this is empty also sure these helicopters don't have anything in them or around them. We have one of the trucks here. We're a two by four. We don't need that. We got our own already. Now this here was this. He thought his wife was dead. So he used to bring flowers here. But then he found out that she was still alive. Well, I don't want to spoil it for you, but we just did. <laughs> We're going to search around here, make sure there's nothing we, we overlooked. We got a crane. Looking around the crane. And one more of these. I already checked this one. So we're going to head back. Now, at one point, this was blocked. You see this truck here? It was pushed in all the way in, so you couldn't get through. So once you go around like I just did, you'll come here and you'll push the truck out of the way. Then you can go out this way. But while the truck is there, you can't, you can't uh, go there, through there. You have to go around like I just did, push the truck out of the way, and then you can, you can go through.
go up. Let's head out. We got plenty of those. I guess this was the radio room. Oh, what is this? A can. So we can make another attractor. Nice. Now, there was something in there that I already collected. That's why it's open. Some kerosene. We don't need that. Here's a plant. Uh, Crowberry. You use the plants to make uh, medicine. We have enough of that. We're maxed out. What is this? A bottle. We got plenty. An igniter. We got plenty of those. Kerosene. The same. You see those markers? Those markers tell you where the stuff is at. Uh, you can check to see if you have enough room to pick them up. Always craft, always craft to make room. Here's a med kit. We have enough, we don't need it, we can't pick it up. Uh, we checked this one already. I just saw a alarm clock right here. We need cans. We need one can. And some items we can't pick that up either. called his friends so they might pop up anytime now you just keep an eye on the map use everything we can collect that meat because it's not infected here's another one coming you see the wolf nice Let's get the meat and keep an eye on the map. And if we see it turn red, I mean someone's approaching. It could be a bear, a wolf, a zombie. There's something on the ground here. What is it? be on that side it is now if the fences don't have barbed wire you could climb over them but if they have barbed wire you can't now you can climb up here and jump over oh you hear that it's, it's a wolf Here he comes. 
Nice. Let's reload just in case. Keep an eye on the map. Alien the Gamer, welcome my friend. How you doing this morning? Thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining our friends, family. All right, we're gonna keep searching the perimeter just in case we left something behind. No, it's clear. We can jump down. Uh, the police vehicles always have ammunition. They have an airbag. And if the hood would have been closed, we could have opened it and find parts. Uh, the pickup trucks, melee weapons. See it? That is a, a piece of stick. A fence post. And this place is called Nero. It's a Nero camp. And there's parts. We have plenty. Let me see. Yeah, we can pick it up. And here is the med kit. We have maxed out so we can't collect anything else. And we already searched this entire area. But there's a plant. I'm going to go pick it up. This is Arrowhead. Nice. Anything else under here? So pretty, right? I don't see any fish. They should have added some fish. And we're going to go back to a motorcycle. There's more supplies here. We're going to pick those up. Or whatever we could. And then we have some kerosene. We also have a piece of pipe and igniter. We have... Oh, six out of six, six out of six, six out of six. Uh, we need one of these, proximity bomb, and we got six out of six on that. So we need two of these. Okay, so we're maxed out. Now, once you get back to the bikes, press that triangle to say what you just did, your progress. Oh, wait a minute, the gasoline. Uh, I, threw, I threw a jug around here, one of the cans. Uh, down here somewhere. Here it is. It's free, it's free gas. If you go to the camps, you gotta pay for it. Or if you go to the gas station, it's also free. So we're going to fill up the tank and we're going to continue on our journey. CLZ4, what's up my friend? Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining the friend and family. Hope you're doing great today. I'm feeling fabulous. I had about four hours of sleep last night. I tell you, it went so quick that I, I, I tell you the alarm clock was mistaken. I'm telling you, the, the, those four hours went by so fast. It's crazy. It felt like I just closed my eyes a minute ago. And all of a sudden the alarm clock is going off. Uh-oh. We have the breaker. The strongest guy. This is the strongest guy in the game. I was close. 
Nice, nice. How you like those cookies, big boy? <laughs> so yeah, he was. He's called the Breaker. I call him Arnold because he's huge, like Arnold Schwarzenegger. So we're gonna save our progress once again. We're gonna reload. There's a little camp here. Let's see what we find here. Okay, here we go. Nope. We're maxed. We are maxed out, guys, so... Can't craft anything, because everything is already to the max. So let's go back to the motorbike, press triangle. Quick save. Okay. Murderers and thieves, uh -oh. Claudia. How many people you killed today, huh? I saw you. Change weapons. He was going to throw a pipe by my as deep, but I got him before he did. So this is these are the militia groups. There's more. You hear them? There is more. There's gotcha. one coming up. There's more. Drink one of these, you son of a bitch. Uh oh. Run, run, run. I see you running around. Woo! So these are the militia groups. They are bad, as you just saw. So you have to battle the militia groups, the rippers, the zombies, and the ambush camps. And it tells you we are at Bear Creek in Hot Springs. Hot Springs is the county. So yeah, this game is a lot of fun. Uh, it's a long game. It's an open world. It's third person view. And this was one of the rippers. They usually shave their head. And uh, women and men. And then they cut themselves up all over their bodies. And they cover themselves in blood. Bundy Games, what's up? Good morning, my friend. Welcome. Thank you for joining me this morning. Yeah, but this I do that every night, my friend. The only time that I, he says, he says, yesterday you said you only have four hours of sleep. That's not healthy, especially for someone in our age group. Thank you, sir. I understand that. Yeah, I, I get six hours on the weekend because my daughter don't have to go to school. But um, on the weekdays, four hours, eh, maybe four and a half. Like last night, I went to sleep. I think it was around 3.30. 2.30, somewhere around there, and um, when the alarm clock rang, went off this morning, I thought I would just close my eyes. I'm like, wait a minute, it, what's wrong with the alarm clock? When I looked at it, I said, oh, it's, it's 7 o'clock in the morning, so I had to get up. But on the weekday, on the weekend, since my daughter don't have to go to sleep, uh, work, I mean, school, I get to sleep until 9, an extra two hours, so I catch up on the, on, on the weekend. But yeah, once I finish streaming at 11, 11.30, by, by the time I finish doing everything on the computer, sometimes it's 12.30, and then I have to do things around the house. I have a big house, and my daughter got her, her, her uniform for school, you know, help her with her homework, and okay, this guy is friendly. 
so he's okay. Yeah, so thank you, thank you for your for your for your concern. Thank you, friend. I don't know. I think as we get older, we need less sleep. It's kind of it's kind of odd. That's why you always see, you know, uh, people of of our age and older, they're up early. They're up, you know, at six o'clock in the morning, seven o'clock in the morning. They're up. But thank you, thank you, my friend. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, Doug Life, thank you so much, friend, for joining us this morning. He says, "Yo, Harry, look, looking good and sounding sweet, my friend. Hope you're well." Thank you, Doug Life. I appreciate your kind words, and and I hope you feel great too. And and um, thank you, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm here with the friends. Um, we have Neo, we have Alien Gaming, we have Bundy Games, we have CLZ4. Uh, we have Monkey Gaming, we have Andre Nasarov, uh, we have Memo 2008 Gamer, we have Thing, and we have Simone. So thank you, my friend. Thank you so much. Uh, all you guys, thank you for your kind words. Thank you. So yeah, I'm still searching, 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 searching. And you know, during the day I stream, I stream 10 to 12 hours, and the hours go by fast. You know what they what they say when you're having fun, time flies. Yeah, that's the case with me. But as the day goes on, I seem to like get a little bit more. Um, uh, my voice starts to go. You know, because yo 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 yo, where did this guy come from? Let me get a long range weapon. There you go. Wow, he surprised me too. But at least the, the good guys say they're coming. I thought I had taken them all down and there was one left. And they don't have no mercy. You see how quickly he started unloading on Deke from the back? Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. That was something, guys. Yeah, that's a lot of waterfalls in this game. They're beautiful. Look at that. So this guy's a friend. He was a prisoner, so we just, you know, rescued him. I'm surprised he's not asking to go to one of the camps, because they usually do. But he's not, so I guess he feels okay with it. Here's another one of the enemies we put down a minute ago. Uh, here's another health kit, but I can't get it because I'm maxed out. Okay, so we're done here. I already searched this, but I just want to do a double check. That way I'm 100% sure there's nothing there. All right, so we searched this entire camp area, not only the ambush camp, but also the Nero camp across the way. There's something in this truck. You see how it's marked? They give you the command to open it. Just hold the square until he opens it. Okay, we have um, plenty of parts, or they call it scrap, so we can't we can get that. But we know it's there. Now, not all trucks have parts. Some of them do, some of them don't. But when you get close to them, they'll give you the command. Also, there is something else in the back. Oh, it's a pickaxe. Yeah, a small one. So, yeah, the pickups usually have melee weapons, axes, um, um, pun, uh, fence posts. It could be a, a stool leg. It could be a two by four, a machete. It can be a bat, a pipe. So when you see those um, pickups, look at you know, search them. 
because if you need one, you can use it. Now I have my melee weapon which I can craft over and over and over and over again. And you don't get that until a certain level in the game. So I make sure that I always have enough parts. Because to fix the melee weapon you need parts. Do you see those gears? That's what you get from the trucks. So right now, and it's also an alarm clock. Oh man. So I have too many. I got too much scraps. I have uh, I have 10 alarm clocks, 20 cra scraps. I need cans. I need cans. And it says, keep out. Intruders will be eliminated. Now, if you're running from the zombies and you see a, a, a mobile uh, home like this, you use the ladder, they don't know how to climb ladders. Anywhere you see a ladder, climb up. They can't climb up. And then while you're up here, you can just take care of them. Ta -da 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 whatever. Bears, wolves, cougars, you can climb up. Now, beware with the bear because they are really tall when they stand on their hind legs. So they will stand up and slap you right off the top of that um, RV. So, yeah, uh, anytime you see a ladder, oh, these, you could hide inside. <laughs> But make sure they don't see you when you hide because they will stand around until you come out. But if they don't see you, you know, just jump in there real quick until they go away and then you can come back out. But if they see you, they're just going to hang around and wait for you to come out. I never used them. Never. I have never used them. I just run. Here's a 2 by 4 Another pickup. We have parts also in the engine bay. But we have a lot, so... See, but I'm just showing you. Okay, so let's head back to, and that's a lot of these bins. Look, there's one here, there's one over there. So you look around and you'll find them. If in case you need to hide. Look, there's also parts in, in this truck. And you need them to fix the motorcycle or fix your melee weapon. And when you're using the crossbow, you also need those parts for the crossbows. So, yeah, search, 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 search. Okay, so we are pretty much searched out. Now, my motorbike is far away because I tend to keep walking and looking and searching. So, I wish I could just, like, in, you know how in, in um, Cyberpunk, you can call your bike and it comes to you or your car? I would have been cool here. Maybe if they make part um, a part two of this, it would be great if they added something like that to the game. We can just call your, your your bike and it'll come to you. So let's just follow the map. This is our camp. Not anymore. Now it belongs to me. Or to Deke. Yeah, so at one point it must have been like 30. 30, maybe 35 enemy guys there so like you just saw there was about 10 or 15 of them so yeah they, they will um take you down oh uh, talking about taking you down that's the reacher you don't play he does not play i'm telling you he's the fastest other than the cougar and uh, and the wolves and if you know something, the bear is pretty fast too, the bear. Talking about the wolves. Talking about the wolves. Are they fighting? They're gonna fight? Let them fight. Let them fight. Let me bring the wolf to him. Come on, meet each other. Wolf. Reacher, fight each other, fight each other. There you go. Go ahead, fight each other. Nope. Okay, I want to put him down. Ooh.
See, what I just used is called focus. It slows everything down. Uh, in order to make that, you need um, alcohol, which is a sterilizer. You need a rag. Uh oh. And you need mushrooms, ink, mush, ink cap, mushrooms. Damn. And it comes in pretty handy when you're being chased by two or three hundred zombies. You can slow them down, turn around, and just take them down. Something's coming, something's coming. Uh huh. See what it is? They hear the sound of the gunfire because they rely on sound and, si and smell. See how they're coming, look. They'll keep coming. Now watch your back, too. You see what I'm talking about? Uh-oh. We got back up. Tough boy. Let's reload. And this is my favorite weapon. The ones I'm carrying right now are my favorite. You can use this for long range too. You got one of you I don't use snipers, weapons. Because this is a good weapon for range too, look. See? Just put them in the center of that of that um, cross here, let's call it. You see? And it's pretty accurate as long as you line it up properly. Let me see if I could get that one all the way down there. You see what I'm talking about? You see that? I mean, we got sniper rifles, but I don't like to carry sniper rifles. It's only, see what I'm talking about? Got them again. Um, they have them more for like hunting, which I don't do that. I don't hunt the deer. They're defenseless, so why harm them? They don't harm D. I don't harm them. The same thing with Sally. Now, all the ears got to be collected, so... Uh, I, did, I just did a demonstration for you guys so you can see the aiming and how powerful, uh, powerful this weapon is. But you have to collect the ears and you have to walk over them or nearby so that X, you see the X on the map? That tells me there's something right over here. And there it is. You see? Once you walk past it or over it, the X will disappear. But I usually let them come to me so that way I don't have to run all over the place. I just wanted to demonstrate to you guys how web how powerful this weapon is. This is Rachel. And they're persistent. They will chase you down until they get you or you get them. They're not gonna go away. Now you also got to be aware of booby traps. Sometimes the um, ambush uh, the militia groups. They'll put down some proximity bombs or some trap bombs. So if you hear like tee, 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 like a little beeping sound, run. Run. Here's a machete. See it? Let's see what's inside here. Yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing in there. No, I think I'm hoping. No, that's not it. I'm looking for cave, guys. Caves, 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 caves. You see the pickups? Look. Two by four. We have a small camp here. Uh, it looks like they didn't make it. They got attacked by the zombies. Or, you know, 
doesn't look like they got attacked by zombies. It looks like they were shot. Yeah. If they would have been attacked by the zombies, it would have been more bloodier. This guy got shot in the head and he bled. So yeah, they got they got um attacked by the enemy. No, the zombies, you find them near water or near um, cemeteries or trash. Okay, let's head back up to the motorbike, which is all the way up there. Now, he can run. This is the fastest he could run. And you see the energy bar is green. You see that blue line above it? That's the stamina. So the more he runs, the, the less stamina he's going to have. So if you're being chased by zombies, that, that blue line is going to disappear completely. That means he's going to slow down completely. And he's going to be able to, if the zombies are chasing him, they're going to catch up to him. Jump scare, you fool. Back to me. No, 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 no. Oh, get off me. Get off me. Get off from me. Wow, he almost had me. You see how he turned red? One more hit, I would have been done. One more hit. Jump scare. That was a close call. So yeah, the blue line is your stamina. So once that goes down to zero, what you need to do is take one of these, stamina cocktail. It won't replenish all of it, probably half, so you might have to take two. But you don't want to um, waste them all. So if you need one, just take the one and save the rest and see if you can get away from them and put them down. And in order to make those again, you will need to find more, more mushrooms. There's a plant right here, berries, and alcohol, and a rag. I see a bear. Yes. And there's a bunch of zombies over there fighting the bear. See them? That's what's the fight. So this game is pretty cool, man. You know, not not only, um, you know, they attack you, but they attack the bears, they attack the deers, they attack, um, oh, the breaker, the big big guy, he fights them. And they also attack the, the cougar, they attack the, um, the wolves. I'm just making noise so they come my way. He is fast. You see how fast he is? Now I'm gonna bring him. I'm gonna bring him to the zombies so the zombies can fight him. I'm just gonna go around the circle around the bear, so the bear can put them down. You know what I'm talking about? You just run around the circles around the bear. Bear took off. He took off. He'll be back. He'll be back. There he is. Go towards the bear. Go towards the bear. Take him to the bear. If this would have been the breaker, I'd do the same thing. Or wolves. Or the cougar. Just guide him to the bear. Guide him to the bear. See, he's taking down about six or seven of them already. And then you have the bear only, then you just take care of the bear. And by then you'll probably be weak from all from all the injuries that the zombies cause. I heard the I heard the screamer. 
I heard the scream and the scream is about to pop out somewhere. So he's down to two. One. Yeah, the bear is injured. You see him bleeding? There he goes. There you go. He got the last one. Victory roar. You hear that scream? We got him, we got him, we got him, we got him. So he's my little helper. <laughs> he's huge. And fast. I like the way he acts like he's not gonna go towards you. He just slows down and all of a sudden he charges. Look, look, look. And then he charges. Oh, that was close. Nice, 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 nice. There's someone behind me. I see him. Oh, he got back up again. So here, this used to be a nest. Well, they were eating here. You see this? I mean, there's bodies buried on the, this this ground, the ground. So they they smell it and they'll come and dig it up and eat the the corpse. So there was a nest here. This was a nest. There's another one coming. Now, they don't like the light. I keep the flashlight on all the time. You see how they block their face? They don't like the light, and I have the flashlight on. Watch. See? So, when you play, keep the flashlight on at all the time. Day, night, always. Raining. See? See how he blocks his face? And that gives you an opportunity to take them down. Because they're blocking their face, they'll slow down for a millisecond. So you either could, you know, roll out of the way, or run, or just put them down. Now, as you can see, this wasn't too far away from the militia camp. Oh, the end. No, that's the ambush camp. There's a plant. Let's go pick up this plant right here. You hear that screaming? You hear that? Where is it at? Oh. Oh, pretty flowers. And this is bitter root. There's an X. You see the X's on the map? You just walk towards them. There's one over here. Nice. There's another one down here. What it's doing is collecting the ears. Now I remember seeing the bear down here fighting them. So we're going to walk this way. There's one down here. Oh, there's a bunch of them. See the X's? How they disappear? We walk over them. Or close to them. What we're doing is collecting those ears so we can sell them. There you go. So the bear had put down about another seven or eight on this side. So I would say he put down about maybe 15 or maybe more. But you have to do what I do. Run around the bear, not too close so he can get you. And if it would have been the uh, wolf, you could do the same. You could do the same thing with the um, cougar. But the cougar, beware, he's very fast. And these trees, if I would have been using the, um, the crossbow, you have to pick these trees up. 
because that's how you make your bolts. They don't call them arrows, they call them bolts in this game. So let's head back to our motorbike. And when you see the breaker, the big big, big guy, the big, real big guy, he's the strongest. You could also do the same thing I did with the bear. If there's zombies nearby, just guide them to him. And he'll put them down. Because he don't like them. He doesn't like anybody. The breaker doesn't like anyone. The only one I haven't seen him um, 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 attack is Sally. That's the only one that she, I haven't seen him attack. But he attacks every other creature. Oh, and the deer. He doesn't do anything to the deer. I haven't seen him attack the deer. All right, so we're going to save our progress. Nice. And there's something right nearby. It's this one right here. Pick up that ear. No, there's something else. Here it is. It's the wolf. So he guides you those X's. Make sure you check them. It could be a collectible, too. It could be something that you need to pick up, like a, a handheld recorder, or it could be a map. It could be something that you need to pick up. Now, you see that blue marker to the north on the map? That's a bear trap. I set them up all over the map. I don't remember <laughs> where they're at now. So make sure you always look at that map, because you don't want to walk. and get caught on one. It does take your energy, it doesn't take all your energy, just some energy, and you can release yourself from them. Did I check this side? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Now this is blocked. I'm not going to be able to ride through it, but let's see if the water is shallow. There you go. It's a little bit of turbo or hot, no, not turbo, um, nitrous. Just jump over that little, uh-oh, look, 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 look. Look at that. Now, when they're, they're like a big group like this. I like to group them all together, so I run past them, so they can get together. I slow down a little bit, wait for them. Now we're gonna set up a, a tractor. Wrong, that's a rock. <laughs> Okay, some of them stay behind. And that was a waste because it was only three of them. That was a waste of a tractor and a waste of a Molotov. I could have just taken them down. But an example. Where did the other ones go? There was about six of them. I see a plant right up here. Let's go get this plant. It's mayweed. Now, I saw that one of my weapons is out of ammunition. This one. My crowd breaker. Those markers tell you there's something in these vehicles. There is an axe. And that one... Uh, there is a airbag. There is another weapon in the other pickup. This one is a two by four. Yeah. And then the police vehicles, they all have ammo, but I already picked that up. See how they fought? They chase you. They won't, they won't give up. I believe that's the breaker. It is the breaker. You see the growl? You see what I'm saying? 
you, you'll get to know who, who growls with this way or that way. You know who's coming because of the growl. So this is the breaker. Let me see if I see any zombies around so we can get them to fight. I'm just going to run around and let him chase me. But wait for him. You don't want him to fall too far behind. Let me see if I find any zombies around here. Okay, we got wolves coming. So that's a good thing. And we have zombies following also. Okay, let's see if we can get a fight going on. A fight. There we go, he's just going to move down. Okay, he just slapped the zombie from the side. He got another wolf. And he got the third wolf. Now he's going to snack on them. He doesn't like anyone. He does not like anyone. Now, I want to show you how powerful he is. I'm going to hit him with a... Oh, he moved. Now, if I try to get him with the... Um, uh, with the um, stun gun, he can break the link. Oh, no. Get up, D. Get up, hurry up. Arnold Schwarzenegger because he's really muscular like Arnold was when he won Mr. Universe. The Terminator. Remember the Terminator? I'll be back. Oh, he's getting too close, guys. weapons nice how you like those cookies big boy <laughs> so yeah he doesn't like anyone I think Sally's the only one that he doesn't fight I haven't seen him fight Sally maybe they have a thing going <laughs> Let's see who we have here. We have, we have, da, 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 da. Uh, Huberto Vergara, thank you so much, my friend, for your donation, uh, for the sticker. Thank you. It says, me encanta mirando tu videos tuyos de Habana, Cuba. Wow. Gracias, Huberto Vergara. Thank you. He says, I love watching your videos uh, from Habana, Cuba. Cuba. He's in Cuba. Bienvenido, mi hermano. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo está todo por allá en Cuba? Gracias, gracias. Brandon D. Gamer, excellent. How you doing, my friend? He subscribed yesterday. He's joined um, Harry's Gameplay channel. It's only $4.99 a month. It's a special offer. So, Brandon, thank you so much, Brandon, for you, um, joining Harry's Friends. It's called Friends uh, The for when you join. So, yeah, Hector, Xbox. Hello, my friend. Welcome. Then we have Jenenku Ying. Jenenku Ying. Hello, Jenenku. Thank you, my friend, for joining us. Thank you. Me alegro que estés bien, Alberto. Bienvenido de nuevo, por favor, mi amigo. ¿Cómo estás? Estás muy bien. Me alegro. Gracias. Gracias por tu este, um, um, super sticker. Lo aprecio mucho. Gracias. And we have E-Dog. 
Uh, E-Dog says the, the, that game should have been in, on all platforms. It's amazing what you think, Harry. Yeah, definitely. I had a friend yesterday ask me, is it on, on play on Xbox? And it's not, which is a shame. They should have made, I mean, I don't know why the companies come out with some of these games and they don't uh, make it for different platforms. It makes more money for them, but maybe it costs a lot of money more. So sometimes it's an experimental thing. But definitely, I think Xbox players would have definitely bought it. PC players would have bought it also. So maybe in the future, maybe if they come out with part two, they'll have it in different platforms. But yeah, thank you for your question. That is very, very interesting. Yeah, they should have. They should have. I know that um, some of the games, when they bring them out on, on, on PlayStation, for example, uh, a few months later, they will bring them other, up to other platforms such as Xbox or PC, but sometimes they don't. And I believe it's because of money. Maybe the studios of the production company that make the games doesn't have that much money to be able to have them um, for different platforms. But yeah, that's very interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Brandon, how you doing today, my friend? Christian Gonzalez, what's up, my friend? Thank you, my friends. Thank you for joining me. Uberto, Uberto Vergara, Havana, Cuba. He's watching us right now, guys. Thank you. Gracias, Uberto, por verlo, el directo. Corey Fred, hello, Freddy. Hello, Fred. Do I call you Freddy? <laughs> no. <laughs> Corey, uh, thank you so much, my friend. Welcome again. Now, Corey is my virtual timekeeper. It's been numerous occasions that I've forgotten that I have to do another stream because I get so involved into the game that I lose track of time. So Corey has been very kind of reminding me, hey, Harry, it's going to be one. Hey, Harry, it's going to be five. <laughs> it's going to be. So thank you, Corey. Thank you. I hope you're doing great today. I feel great. A little bit tired. I had about four hours of sleep, but I feel, I feel good. I'm going to snap out of it. It's going to be a long day. I'm going to be streaming until 11 p.m. at night. So I still have three more streams to do. At 1 o'clock, I'm going to be playing Cyberpunk. Uh, I think I'm, I'm on the 46th episode. Now, uh, Johnny Silverhand has taken over um, V's body. Alt, who was the computer um, lady, it was, used to be Johnny's girlfriend, tricked um, V into thinking that he, she was going to help her get rid of the char that's in her brain and get, get rid of Johnny. But she didn't. She tricked V, and Johnny tricked V. So now Johnny took over, took over V's body, who is a female. Johnny was a male. So now Johnny is is in, in, in the body with V, and, and it's a double voice. You can hear when he talks. So yesterday he went and purchased a guitar. We had a big battle, by the way, yesterday. Check out yesterday's episode, and you see what I'm talking about, so you can understand what I'm saying. But um, check out yesterday's episode. And you're going to see where at the end, he goes to a guitar shop. He goes back to one of his friends that used to be in the band with him, which is kind of odd because this is like many, 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 many years later. But the, um, the, the guy that used to be in his band, he's still young. So that part I couldn't understand because in reality, Johnny should be like 70 years old at least. But in reality, when he comes back and he finds one of his band members, the guy's still young. So I think right now they, they fail. They should have made the person older. But no. So I don't know what's going to happen today. But I know yesterday he went and bought a guitar. So I think he's trying to get his band back together. He, he was a rock artist and back in 2013, supposedly in the game. So he's trying to get his band back together. And I think he's going to be going back and he's going to start doing concerts again. But his body or his soul or his, you know, is inside B's body, who is a female. So it's very interesting. So make sure you guys check that out at 1 o'clock today. I'm on, episode, I'm on level 46, and this game only goes up to level 50. So it's about to finish. Now, when I finish that game, I will start playing Watchdog. That's going to be in a time slot, Watchdog, Legions. I never played this before either, guys. So I'm, 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 you know, I'm up to the challenge. Let's see what happens. But thank you. Thank you so much, guys, and thank you, Brandon, for... For, for becoming a, 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 a enjoying friends um, on Harry's um, game channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, my friend. Um, 
Stefan Lauder says, hello, Harry. I hope you're doing awesome today. I'm doing great. Thank you. Um, every moment you guys come on and you cheer me on, it just gives me an extra, an extra, uh, 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 what do you call it, extra stamina or, or, or adrenaline rush. Thank you so much. I'm doing great. And, and nice coming, having you back on the channel. Thank you. I appreciate it. And I appreciate your support. Davis, Chris Davis, another member of Friends on, on Harry's Gameplay channel. He joined. So he's also a, a Friends member, and I appreciate you guys for joining. Um, and, and guys, you know, the, the sky's the limit. We, I'm going to continue playing for you guys. But, yeah, check out the um, uh, the stream. I'm hoping, uh, Chris, you're doing well. Once again, thank you for joining, and thank you for joining us now, and I appreciate all your support. Thank you. Thank you. So um, it's a da uh, GTA 5 from yesterday when you – gave the long speech about Sony and that one guy said on your mic wasn't working can you tell it again wow <laughs> and the guy said your mic wasn't working can you tell it again yeah that was Saigon and Saigon is a long time friend you you might know him because I know you, you also watch my streams and he always shows up he's from California uh, he also a gamer, and he he plays. He loves he loves um, the Last of Us. He has played it multiple times in different difficulty levels. He's a great friend. He has helped me in some of my streams when I've gotten stuck in some areas that I didn't know what to do. So he's been there a long time since I started the channel. Um, 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 Saigon Kick, and also another guy, Dave Melbester. He's been there also. I have a lot of friends, a lot of friends from all over the world, and I appreciate all you guys for helping me and supporting what I do. So thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, as, uh, Hector Xbox says, hello, Harry. Are you are you doing good today? Um, yeah, I'm doing great. Thank you, Hector. Thank you so much for, um, for your, for your uh, concern and for your kind words. Yeah, I'm doing great, guys. I'm a little bit tired, uh, but I'll snap out of it. Um, like I said, I'm I, I'm doing this until 12:45. Uh, day's gone. Then at one o'clock, I'm gonna be playing Cyberpunk. And then uh, until three o'clock, then I go pick up my daughter from school. I'll take two hour break to help her with her homework, make her something to eat, uh, start getting everything um, together for the next day. And then at five o'clock, I'm gonna be playing The Last of Us Part Two. And then I'll play that until 7:45. And then I'll take 15 minutes to set up. Uh, GTA 5 and I will be playing GTA 5 until 11 so yeah I started streaming from from 10 to 11 so I'm streaming anywhere between 10 to 12 hours a day I try to do that every day seven days a week um, I did that for four months straight and then I took a break on Labor Day but since Labor Day on I haven't taken a break again so yeah um, I'm just gonna try to take it easy I'm not getting much sleep but I, I like Bundy said one of my friends on the chat, Bundy Games, that once you reach our age, we need a little bit more sleep. So, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep grinding for a little while longer and hopefully I don't get sick. And then uh, if I take a day off, I will let you guys know about it. But definitely, guys, don't forget that on the channel, there's over 900 live streams that I've done for about 15 or 20 different games that I played. You can watch them anytime. You can share them with your friends. Just do me a favor and smash the like button. And please, let everyone know, your co-workers, your, your classmates, your cousins, your family members, you know, about Harry's Gameplay channel so they can subscribe. We're about to hit 2,000 subscribers. Thank to you guys. Um, and I'm going to continue. I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing. So thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, um, Brandon. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Hector, Xbox, Stefan Lauder. Thank you so much, guys. Corey Fred. Uh, Ulberto Vergara, Ulberto Vergara from Cuba, he's watching us right now. Muchas gracias, Ulberto. Uh, te aprecio mucho, gracias. Uh, we got Jenico Ying. He says, I can't speak English. That's great. In this channel, you learn how to speak English. We have a lot of friends on the chat, uh, Jenico, that uh, you could talk with each other, you can chat with each other, get to know each other while I'm streaming. And it would be a good way to learn English because you'll hear me talk a lot. I talk a lot. I talk a lot. Sometimes I'm quiet while I'm, when I'm playing because I need to focus what I'm doing. 
But once I, I see the messages, I'll take a minute or two to to uh, respond to your comments and your and your questions. Thank you, thank you, and welcome, welcome, um, um, Jen and Ku. Thank you, Jen and Ku Ying. Uh, where are you from, Jen and Ku? Where you live at? What country? Uh, links Ying. So it might be uh, Japan, it might be China, it might be Malaysia, it might be South Korea. It could be Japan. It could be Japan because Ying. So, very nice, very nice, guys. Thank you so much. Okay, so we also have, let me give you guys a shout-out real quick, and then I'll get back to the game. We have E-Dog, Christian Gonzalez. We have Thug Life. We have Bundy Games. Uh, we have um, CLZ4. Great, guys. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. We have Alien Gamer. We have Neo Feet. Andre Nasarov. We have uh, Monster Gaming. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, we have Memo, uh, 2008 Gamer. We have Simone, and we have Simone Barbara, and we have King, all the way from India. We have friends from all over the world, man. It's global, baby. It's global. So, yeah, let me continue. Thank you, guys, for your support. Uberto, gracias de nuevo. Por gracias. Uh, when he says, I love to watch your, your videos, um, I'm watching from... Havana, Cuba. Beautiful. Cuba. Oh, in Spanish, Havana, Cuba. Cuba. In Espanol. But in English, it's Havana, Cuba. It's not a Q. I don't know why they say Cuba. Because if, we, if it would have been Cuba, it should have been with a Q, right? Because the, the Q makes the sound Q. But since it has a U, the, the C makes the sound of a Q with a U. Cuba. But it should be Cuba. Because C U B A, Cuba. Gracias. Gracias. <laughs> we have gaming with X Man. What's up, my friend? Welcome. How you been? How you been? What you been doing? You been gaming? Have you been gaming? What games are you playing, man? What games are you playing? So yeah, we, we all, I believe mean, all everyone that's here, we're all gamers. We are all gamers. Um, we all probably starting, I just started eight months ago. Some of us have probably been streaming for like, like Bundy Games. He's been doing it since 2013, so he's a pro. I would consider that a pro, you know, a pro gamer. Probably play hundreds of games. So yeah, we have a lot of friends from different countries, different genres. We all play different games and we all, get together and hey it's a nice thing to do it's a nice thing to do but while we all have his gameplay channel we're global it's the united nations we all friends we make friends we're here to make friends and chat chat, uh, chat amongst each other you know questions like hey what game are you playing where are you stream from where are you from what's your favorite game uh, you know how many platinums do you have do you have any 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 games you want to recommend to me because i'm playing you know this game can you help me because I'm stuck here? What should I do? Stuff like that, you know, and help each other out. That would be awesome. He says, I'm good. Yes, I've been gaming a lot. Awesome, awesome gaming. Thank you. Thank you for your response. I appreciate that. And good luck with that. Keep at it. Keep grinding. Keep grinding. And then we have Hillbilly. Hey, Hillbilly, what's up, my friend? This is your first time here, right? Welcome. Welcome to my family. I have friends from all over the world. Uh, we get together four times a day. I stream four times a day, seven days a week. Uh, I've been doing this since uh, December the 30th, 2021. I never played these games before. There's over 20 games that I've played so far. Uh, they're on the channel. There's a playlist for each for each uh, game, uh, such as um, The Ghost of Tsushima, Spider-Man, The Last of Us, uh, Resident Evil, The Little Nightmare, uh, Crash Bandicoot, uh, Far Cry, Uncharted, and much more, The Sims, Check it out. You're going to like it. And thank you, see, but thank you for joining us. And please subscribe and smash that like button. And you, you can also become a member of Friends. It's, it's one of, uh, you can join the channel. It's, it's Friends. It's called Friends on my channel. It's only $4.99 a month. You get special perks with that. Uh, when I start playing online live, which is going to be soon, I've been taking some little classes for my son. And at night, one after I, I, I finish my, 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 my live streams, and sometimes I'm up to 2 o'clock in the morning, 2 or 30, just checking it out, seeing what I need to do, how to go about it. So that's one of the perks. So please, 
subscribe and join us. Uh, welcome to the family. Thank you, my friend. Uh, we have a message from Bundy. Bundy says, when I say 2013, I was talking about GTA 5. I've been gaming since, wow, so so he's been gaming since the 80, guys. Uh, um, um, Bundy, is, I think he's in his 50s. So he's been gaming since the, the 80s. So you look at the 80s, we're in 2020. So add it up, 40 years. 40 years, so, yeah, you know, uh, Bundy and I and, and John Dow, there's another friend, John Dow, and there's also Saigon Kick. We are in, 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 in our mid-ages, let's say that, uh, to be nice, and I'm 61 years old, or young, whichever you want to say, and I, I game when I was younger. I'm basically one of the OGs when Atari came out with Space Armada, Space Invaders, and those games on Atari, and Sega and, 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 and television and all those games, Nintendo 64, we were the original OGs. We were the first players of those games. And, and these companies have come this far because of us. Because we initially invested money in their company by buying their supplies, buying their games, buying, buying everything. They had T-shirts. They had all type of stuff. You could buy the little figurines and stuff like that. So, yeah. We the original OGs, you know, the old school gangsters, the old school gamers, and because of you know Saigon Kid, um, um, Bundy, the uh, games, myself, uh, we have um, John Dow and other friends that played those games back in the day and are still playing those games. Now I took a pause because I had to a family to take care of and I worked and stuff like that. I was, at one time I was working 17 hours a day. I did business administration and management, so. It was, I had my hands full, so I didn't have no time for gaming, you know. So I had to sleep <laughs> and take care of the family. But I came back uh, last year on 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 the on, 30, on December the thirtieth, twenty twenty one, and ever since then um, I haven't been able to put the rem the controller down, you know. So it, it's helped me a lot. I was suffering from depression. I lost my daughter and my brother. My brother, I lost him in twenty nineteen. My daughter, I lost her in twenty twenty. And I suffer from depression, you know, I have a problem with my back, a uh, uh, spinal disease. So all that stuff was just depressing me. So gaming brought me out of that hole that I was in. And I'm happy now to have friends from all over the world like you guys. And I appreciate all your support. And, and I love you guys. I love you. And I mean it. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Uh, DJ, what's up, my friend? What's going on? Oh, you know, Hillbilly. Let me put that through. Let me put it through. <laughs> Uh, DJ says, hi, Bill Hillbilly. Oh, my goodness. Now my dog, so she, she hears me talking. She thinks I'm talking to her. So she wants some attention. So I'm going to introduce you to her. This is this is Rosie. Say hi, Rosie. Say hello. Hello. Hello, I'm Rosie. I'm, I'm the little spoiled little dog you hear barking in the background. How you guys doing? Are you guys doing good? I'm Rosie. I'm only 10 months old. And I'm big and fat. Look at my tummy. Look at my tummy. Look at my tummy. I'm a spoiled little baby girl. Hey, yo. <laughs> yeah, she hears me talking a lot, and she thinks I'm talking to her. So she'll start barking. She wants attention. Also, she's letting me know that she needs to go to Boom Boom, <laughs> and she needs to go to the bathroom. So give me a minute, guys. I'll be right back. I'm going to go take her to the patio, leave the door open. She'll run back in. But I'll keep an eye on her for a second, all right? I'll be right back, my friends. Thank you. You go chat, chat amongst each other. Apparently, Hillbilly and Digic know each other because uh, Digic, as soon as she came in, he says, Hi, Hillbilly. So they're probably friends. Nice. Thank you so much. Hillbilly said he loves dogs. I have a lot of friends that love animals. Yeah, I love animals. We have cats. We have two cats, too, and we have a turtle. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I'll be right back, guys. Come on, come on. Go ahead. Go, 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 go. Go. Go, 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 go. Go.
thank you so much my friends i'm back thank you thank you so much for for the like guys i appreciate that thank you yeah and at any time you guys can share the stream with your friends just click share and send it to your friends so they can also watch that would be nice uh we have r tv hammer hello my friend welcome how you doing thank you for joining us thank you for joining our family here on heritage gameplay channel that's nice thank you so much uh for joining us um he wants to know how old am I, are you? I'm, a, I'm 61 years old. I was born in 1961 in New York City. I live in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, which is about an hour and a half from New York City, the way I drive. <laughs> Welcome, my friend. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed and turn on all notifications so you won't miss any live streams, okay? I stream four times a day, seven days a week. There's about 20 games that I play on the channel. There's a playlist, and there's over 900 live streams that I've done. You can watch them anytime, any place, anywhere. Just do me a favor and smash the like. What is it now? What is it now? Go play with your toy. Your toy. Here, here, here. Here. Here's your toy. Here. Here's a little toy. She has a little hedgehog. <laughs> here. Here you go. Here. Go play. Go play. Go play. Yes, so yeah, there's this. Um, you, also, there's you could join Harry's Gameplay cha channel. Uh, it's called Friends. Uh, it's in the same channel. Just click on Join and follow the instructions. It's only four ninety nine a month, and you get special incentives. Like when I play online, you will get invited since you're a member. Thank you so much. Uh, oh, we have someone else. Your show. It says more free brood or broad broad brood. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. Thank you. I uh, hope you are well, he says, uh, or my friend says. Yeah, I'm doing great. We're doing great. I'm going to continue playing for you guys. All right? I'm going to be playing this until 1245, and then I'm going to sign off, and I'm going to come back, and I'm going to continue playing Cyberpunk 2077. At 5 o'clock, I played The Last of Us Part 2, and at 8 o'clock, I play um, GTA 5. Now, Bundy, one of the friends from the chat, has been playing that since 2013, since it came out. So he's a pro at GTA yes i know i know i'm talking to the friends okay i'm talking to the friends you need to go play go play with your toy okay i'll play for you with you later we have can can't you fast how you doing my friend welcome welcome again thank you thank you i'm doing well thank you my friend thank you thank you for joining us and um let's have some fun i'm gonna play the game for you guys can you guys can watch and uh if you like this game as a matter of fact guys all the games on my channel i recommend them I did research before I started playing them, and I love them all. I love the game. I mean, I have a couple of favorites. I have um, Spider-Man, which is my favorite. I have also The Ghost of Tsushima, which was the first game I streamed on YouTube Live when I started. And also The Last of Us, uh, also my favorite. We have Days Gone. I have Cyberpunk. We have a bunch of games you can check out at any time, okay, guys? And then once I finish one game, I'm going to introduce another game. I have a couple of games here on my desk on the shelf that um, I'm going to introduce once I finish one game I'll start another one and I'm going to continue doing this I'm having a lot of fun and I hope you guys enjoy it too thank you so much uh, it says my friend you can give memberships now brother uh, yeah you can do that also I mean anytime you want to do that yes yes I know I know you got to stop that I'm trying to do something here okay all right Go keep playing, keep playing. Right here, look, look. Over here, your toy. Look, look. Right here, right here. Get it, get it. Here, here. Get it, get it. Right there, right there. Get it. So, yes. Um, yeah, that's also possible. Yeah, definitely. You guys can do that if you want to give each other memberships. That would be something nice too to do. I'm very hyped. Um, hyped. For God of War, Ragnar. Yes, yes. That's a game I'm looking out for. I believe it's coming out next month. So, yes, that's a game that I want to play. So, definitely. And I also want to play um, um, Van Hala. I think it's Creed, Creed something. So, I want to play that also. So, the yeah, definitely. Those are very good games, and I want to start playing that. There's a lot of games that I never heard of that a lot of your friends are, are bringing up and, and suggesting for me to play. Um, when I finished playing um, The Last of Us, which is between 5 and 8, uh, when I'm done with that game, I'm going to be playing Red Dead Redemption 2. So that's that's going to be in that time slot. 
Uh, the time slot for Cyberpunk, since I'm almost finished in that, is I'm on level 46 and it goes up to level 50. So I might finish that today, who knows? But I'm gonna be playing um, um, Watch Dogs uh, on that time slot, uh, Legions. So that's something that's also coming up. So yes, I have a lot of games that you guys are suggesting. I appreciate you guys recommending some of those games. I like third person view games, I like long games, I like open world games. So those are some of the criteria that I look for. And the story has to be pretty good. And also the characters and the animation and the graphics, everything has to be great. And also the mechanics of the game. Because some games, you know, some friends have recommended them to me, but it's not what I, I like to play. And I want to play something that I enjoy and that my viewers, my friends, enjoy also watching. I don't want to play something, oh, I don't like that game, I don't like this game, I don't like that game. So, yeah, I like to do something that everyone enjoys and I enjoy. I don't want to get bored playing a game. I want to have fun too, right? <laughs> so, thank you, my friends. Thank you so much. Thank you. Tunella, man. What's up, my friend? What's going on? He says, keep on the grinding, Harry. Fam means family. Thank you so much, my friend. Enjoy the rest of the day or evening. Take care. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you. I will. And, and thank you once again for always tuning in and supporting what I do, Tune. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you. I appreciate it. Khan Shafa says, uh, you, all, you are our all-time best gamer. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate all your kind words, guys. So, my friends, let me continue playing before we run out of time for this game. Uh, it's 11.37, so I got about another hour to play. So let me play, and then I'll answer some of your comments and some of your um, questions, okay? I'll look at them after I play for a little bit. So let's, let me find the motorbike once again. I lost it. So it's around here somewhere. Let's just follow the map and just go straight to it, and we'll be able to find the motorbike. And I'll continue to search for the items that I'm looking for. Uh, this game right here, this is the 103rd episode. It's a very long game. I have played over 300 hours on it. Uh, it's an open world game. It's a third person view. The mechanics are awesome. The graphics are amazing. If you can look around, look at that. It looks so real. Look at this. It looks real. The character is pretty, he's a good guy. You know, he's a bounty hunter, you know. So the mechanics and the and the, and the graphics and the story is pretty cool, and, and the gameplay is amazing. So it's an open world game. I played over three hundred hours, and you're gonna love it. You'll get your money's worth, guys. This is a game that you'll definitely get your money's worth. It's not one of those games that after ten hours it's just done. And then you got to go buy another game. You know what I'm saying? So you'll be playing hundreds of hours with this game. And another thing, guys, what, what, what you see live on, this, on the screen is what you see on my videos, replays. I don't edit them. Everything is raw. You understand? I don't take anything out, and I don't add anything in. So if it takes me 20 times to pass a level, you'll see all my 20 fails before I succeed. Yeah, and what you see is what you get. It's all real. It's nothing fake. So we're going to continue searching. Thank you, thank you so much guys, thank you, appreciate it. Oh, an infected bear. No, 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 get away from me. Oh, I'm about to run out of ammo on this one. Oh, yes, yes, we have the reacher and the bear, so let's take them to each other so they can fight. Come on, bear, take them down, bear. Go, fight, fight. Get them, bear, get them, get them. Chase them down, chase them down. Now, while they're chasing each other, I'm gonna go to my motorbike. I'm gonna pick it up. And I have extra ammo on my saddlebag. Whoa, too close for comfort. Too close for comfort. Where did the Reacher go? Did he put him down already? I think he did. Yes, he did. He's, look, he already put him down. There he is. The bear got him. Thank you, bear. But now, let me see if he, oh, he's too close. He's awfully fast. Let me patch him up because he's kind of weak. He is fast. Out of ammo. Let me check my other weapons. That one's out of ammo too. So all I have is my little, little stubby.
Reload, reload, reload. No! No, 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 get away, get away from me, get away, let me go, 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 no, 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 go, run, 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 nice, now, I'm gonna go straight to that motorbike and get some ammunition, I have a, a saddlebag, and I have four extra supplies. You see the saddlebag? It says four. So I'm just going to hold the X. Nice. Now I got ammo for all the weapons again. Woo. So you had me for a second. So the bear is infected. We can't collect the meat. If it wouldn't have been infected, we could collect the meat. I already went over to the um, Reacher. There he is. There he is. Now he's the fastest. He travels 40 miles per hour and he's very strong. Now if he sees you, it takes a lot of ammo to take him down. Uh, if you sneak up behind him, all you gotta use, use your knife one time and you put him down. But once he sees you, the fight's on. So we're gonna go back to a motorbike hole triangle for a quick save you gotta make sure you do that every time otherwise you'll lose progress whatever you collected or you found you'll lose it okay we have a bridge here let's cross over to the other side and we are at rebel rock it's a cave so let's go search this cave. Now the caves is where the zombies live. Okay. They go they go there at night to sleep. And in the daytime they come out uh, looking for food. To look for food. And if you find them at near the water, near cemeteries, near trash. So where are these caves at? Oh, you heard that? An owl. That was an owl. You can hear the owl in the background. And another thing in this game, guys, you get to ride around in this cool motorcycle. That you get to customize yourself. Here we go again. No, fight each other, fight each other. Get them, get them. Get them, get them. Oh, they got them. They got them. Stay away from me. Oh, boy. Get away, get away from me, get away from me. Let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go. Oh. Bad puppy. Where's the other one? Oh, man. I mean, you can't get any more real than that. The graphics are amazing. Uh, the other ones over here, the, bear, uh, the wolf meat you can collect and sell it at the camps. And then you can buy uh, supplies such as um, ammo, medicine. Also, you can buy parts for your motorcycle and um, weapons. I'm not talking to you. All right? I am not talking to you. Okay? I'm talking to the friends on the chat, okay? Oh, boy. Who was it? Oh, the cougar. Oh, no. Nice, 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 nice. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Go, go, go. 
So the cougar, we could also collect that meat. Oh, wow, look at the fur. Stop. Stop already. Come on, you're scratching my legs. You got sharp claws. So look how realistic this is. Look at that. Look at the paws. Look at the tail. Look at the wolf. Yes, I know, I know, I know. Okay, that one is done too. Let's, let's try it again. Stop, stop already, okay? Stop, stop, stop. I'll play with you later. Stop. Uh, we have a uh, coca. Hello, coca. It says, Preguntales gusta el curazo. Let me see what that, I'm going to try to translate that, guys. I have a translator in the computer. You keep scratching my legs. Come on, stop, Rosie. It says, ask them like quartz. Mm, quartz. Can you can you rephrase the 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 the, the comment? It says ask them like quartz. Don't know. Uh, the Dukes, 1984. What's up, the Dukes? What's going on, my friend? They sleep during the day and come out at night. They are active between 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. I see. Got gotcha. you. Thank you so much, my friend. And then you have uh, Cocoa says bueno. De todos modos, luego decir si ya salió Call of Duty, Warzone, and Cellular. Okay, it's asking um, about if, if, if um, um, Call of Duty, Warzone came out on Cellular. Uh, I, I couldn't tell you. I don't know. I don't play on Cellular. I'm playing on PS5. But you can look it up on Google. Type it up on Google. Just type the, what you just asked me. Ask Google. No sé si salió Call of Duty, Warzone, en el celular. Puedes buscarlo en Google. Escribe lo mismo que me preguntaste a mí como una pregunta en, en Google y Google te puede responder sí o no. Pero yo no sé porque yo no juego en celular, yo juego en PlayStation 5. ¿Ok? Gracias por tu pregunta y bienvenida, Coca. ¿Ok? Gracias. Gracias, amiga. Y por favor, inscríbete. Yo tengo muchos juegos que puedes ver y, y puedes disfrutar. Gracias. Yeah, so it's 7, 7, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. So that is pretty cool. Thank you. Yo también salió a la playa uh, Play Store, pero no se puede descargar. She says that it, uh, or the friend says it came out in, in the Play Store, but um, somehow um, it says uh, you can download it. Don't know. No put... No sé, no te puedo ayudar con eso porque yo no uso el teléfono y yo no descargo uh, los juegos. Yo compro los discos, compro los discos y con los discos juego, pero yo no descargo nada. Todos son discos, todos. Says so that they, they, apparently they, they says it came out in the Play Store, um, um, Call of Duty Warzone, but um, somehow she's trying to, or the friend is trying to download it, but it's not able to. So I don't know. Uh, I told her I don't know how. To, uh, can I help her because I don't I don't download digital anything. I I play I use disc. That's how I use, and then I'm using PlayStation Four. Miss Cantu, cómo estás, Mexico? Oh, okay, 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 okay. There you go, there you go. Miss Cantu, who's also a friend to the to the family, to us. Uh, she's from Mexico. Miss Cantu, Isabel, that's her name, Isabel. Um, um, Coca, eh, ta is Miss Cantu. Dice que sal, sale en 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 Warzone en móvil en octubre 28. Es cuando sale que lo puedes descargar. Por ahora no puedes, por eso es que no te lo deja descargar. Miss Cantú dice que en octubre 28 va a estar disponible para que lo descarga, 
¿ok? Si tú lo quieres descargar en ese tiempo. Pero por ahora no puedes. Uh, despiértame a las... Las puede servir a los que no pudieron comprar el juego porque no tienen tanto dinero. Ok, so, um, she says that um, some people don't have a lot of money to buy the game or, or you know, de cargarlo. I mean, to buy the disc. So she says it's easier for people that don't have much money to download it instead. That's understandable. Sí, yo entiendo eso, pero que... Eh, eh, lo puedes descargar en tu celular en octubre 28 es cuando Miss Cantú dice que puede estar disponible en esa fecha pero antes de eso no vas a poder hacer nada ok ok gracias tu pregunta Coca uh, Miss Cantú says I'm sorry for not being active on the chat but I am aware I will just watch a great stream by the way thank you Miss Cantú Do not get in trouble at work because I don't want you to sneak around to watch my live stream and get in trouble, okay, Miss Cantu? Uh, she's apparently she's at work and she's sneaking around. <laughs> gracias, gracias. Sigue tu trabajo, mi amiga. Gracias por, por uh, thank you for stopping by and saying hello. I appreciate that and smashing that like button. Thank you. And thank you for your information for the um, Call of Duty War Zone. Uh, Miss Coca, I needed help. I, I couldn't help it, but you came out really quick. And you gave us some information that we could um, help her with. So thank you so much. Uh, keep up the good work. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Isabel. Beautiful name, Isabel. In Spanish, it's Isabel. But in English, it's, it's Isabel. Beautiful name. All right, we have uh, Mo Free Broad. He says, I'm from Germany. And I would love to hear you try to say something like, Way get der means... Like, hey, how you doing? Was it we, we, get der? <laughs> Am I saying it right? We, get der? <laughs> I just spoke German. Did I get it right? I'm more free. <laughs> He says, not that bad. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, very good. With get dirt. This is, it is. Hey, hey, how are you doing? Oh, wow, that's incredible. Very nice, very nice. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. It's a lot of fun, man. It's a lot of fun. I'm doing this. I'm having a lot of fun. All right, guys, let me continue, 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 continue. Um, Murphy says, German is a very difficult language. Wow. Uh, we have Vicenzo Lupo. He says, hi, Porcudio. Hi, Porcudio. Don't know what that means. Is that Spanish? Uh, from another country because some of the words yeah it doesn't have a translation porcudio porcudio que quiere decir porcudio otra palabra que define la palabra porcudio vicenso I'm asking him another word that describes porcudio because I don't know what that means. But it sounds Spanish to me, and his name sounds Spanish too. But a lot of Spanish countries, some words have different definitions. So you have to be aware. So when you go to Spanish countries, some of the words that you might use in your, in your native language might be offensive to other languages in Spanish. Uh, Dinky Air Sandy, where are you from? Why are you from? Okay, so that tells you what you from, mister. <laughs> I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I live next to New York City. I was born in New York City. So I'm in the United States of America. Where are you from? Where you live at? Hey, yeah, I'm 61 years of age. In case you wanted to know, I'm 61. And I've been doing this for eight months now, a little bit over eight months. Thank you, thank you for your question. 
Now, where are you from? Uh, Dicky. D I K I. I suppose it says Dicky, right? I don't think it's Dicky. It's so interesting to have friends from all over the world, you know? It, it, it's, it's crazy. I love it. I love it. Okay, I was here earlier. So we're going to head back the opposite way. Okay, this is one of the friendly camps. They're being attacked, I gotta go help them. They're being attacked by the Rippers. This is the Rippers. Okay, these are the Rippers. They cut themselves all up, you see their bodies? All slashed up. They shave their heads. You see tattoos on their faces. It says rest, rip, R-I-P for ripper. Uh, they shave their heads. See how they all cut up? And it's the cult. Very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. At one point in the game, in the beginning of the game, they ruled like the north area of the map. They conquered it, and they had barricades everywhere, and every time you wanted to cross over to a different place, you had to fight them. So they all defeated. Uh, we we de actually, uh, between Boozer and Deke, uh, we destroyed a, a dam that was above their camp, and they're f for flooding their area, drowning a lot of them. And then Deke fought the leader, whose name was Jesse. By the way, he was Spanish. And Deke won. So after that, the, the, the cult dismembered. But there's a lot of them still left around the game. And occasionally you'll run into them. And they were also the cause that Iron Mike at um, Iron Lake Camp passed away. They attacked that camp because of Izo, which was a guy that was a, a, a traitor. He betrayed um, Iron Mike, uh, Iron Lake's um, camp, uh, Lost Lake, and therefore he got injured in a fight, and then he passed away because of Izzo betraying him with the Rippers. It's a long story. You got you got to watch. You got to play this game, guys. You got to really enjoy it. All right. So since I'm near the camp, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna sell all the bounties. Uh, the bear meat. I could buy ammunition. I could buy gas. I could get my bike fixed. I could take a nap. He could take a nap. So since we're here, we're gonna we're gonna go in. And these are all friendly camps. And one of the things you gotta do is protect them. They will protect you. You protect them. And this is the uh, mechanic. See all the engine parts. We have engines. They have tires. They have rims. Sandy. See, this is the this is the mechanic. Now, if you want to fix your bike and buy parts, you just hold. You I have my bike fully upgraded already, so I don't have to buy any parts. But I could get a repair. Look, one cent to repair it. <sighs> Bike's looking busted up. That's it. And the fuel is two hundred and eighty-five. But I already have plenty of fuel. I could get it for free, so I'm not gonna buy that. So the motorcycle is totally re, um, um, restored to uh, upgraded to the highest level. I can't buy any more parts because I got everything already. 
But if there would have been parts available, he would have showed it on the map, on, on the on the screen, and then I could have um, purchased them. Now, if you see on the top, it says check mark three trust level. That's the highest trust level you can get. And once you get that trust level, they'll sell you whatever they have: weapons, motorcycle parts, anything that you need. They'll sell it to you. When you start, you start at level zero, and trust level, and then you have to end level one trust level, level two, trust level, and level three. The higher the level, the more things they sell you. Like if you're on level one and you try to buy an automatic weapon, they won't sell it oh, to you. That? Like a machine gun, they won't sell it to you. You have to be a level three. Okay. And that's the mechanic. Hey, good then we can you. go to the, who else we have here nearby? Okay, this is the camp leader right here. What this is want? Tucker. She's the one that assigns you jobs. As you can see right on, above her name on the on the wall, on the building, it says no jobs available. I already completed all the jobs. So let's go now to, we're gonna go to the bond, we're gonna sell the ears right here. And we make money off of that. Ears. Hey Vic, how's it going, Marcel? You got some bounties for me? Yeah, we have some, not many. <sighs> Keeping the world safe, one dead freak at a time. That's all I got for now. Nice. Yep. Now we can go to the kitchen and sell the meat. Now the kitchen is this way. When you see that plume of smoke, and that's where the kitchen is at. And you can sell all the meat, bear meat, cougar meat, crow meat, wolf meat. We don't have that much because we were here yesterday. But since I was nearby, I decided to come over so you guys can see. Now we're gonna go to the garage, just follow the icons on, this, on the map. Here you see a, a wrench and a screwdriver. Hey, Zan. Oh, no, this is the garage. I'm talking about, I'm going to the uh, we went to the garage. We're going to the um, arms dealer. Oh, they call him merch merchant. <laughs> and this is where you get all your weapons. Hey, how you been? Al Qaeda. Now I have everything already. What are you looking for? What? I have everything. I have everything. You see how we got shed marks? I got all of them. Now we can buy supplies. You can buy ammo. I'm going to do that. The saddlebag, and then these are your suppressors, your silencers, and then med kits, a hundred dollars each. And if you need any Can I um, anything else for you? grenades, you can also buy them here. But I'm full, and that is it. And then you also have a locker where you keep all your weapons. So these are all my weapons. And this is what I'm using right now. But you got all these different weapons. When you start, you start with zero. This is zero. And then you could have your side arms, which is um, your, um, nine, uh, what do you call it? Some machine guns or um, what do you call them? Tech nines. Or you have your little stubby uh, shotgun. This is what I'm carrying. And then you have all types of other weapons. When you start the game, you start with this one only. That is it. And these are all my specials. The crossbow, you have a regular crossbow, and then the drifter's crossbow. And then you have scope rifles, you have a a Russian-made. This weapon packs a lot of power. DK, if you're DK. going up against a horde, you, could do, you couldn't do worse. So this is like a, a, a version of the Chicago Chopper, okay? But the Chicago Chopper, the original one, all right, is this one. Okay, so yeah, you have all type of weapons, and as you play the game, you earn them by doing missions, completing missions, and you can purchase them. But they're not free. They're only free when you complete a mission. Any weapons you find while you play from the enemy, you cannot you keep. You can use it, you cannot keep. The only thing you can keep is stuff you buy or you earn. All right, so we're done. We're going to get out of here. We're going to go back to play a little bit longer before the time runs out. I got to go to the mechanic because that's where the motorcycle is at. 
since they just repaired it, it's right there. And there it is. Deacon. How's it going, Zanny? Now, let me check here for a minute. Hey, Deacon, right? How's the bike business going, Zanny? Oh no, I just crashed badly, badly. Wow. Need something. And Murphy says, um, I will play God of War now. Keep grinding, Harry. Take care. Hey, enjoy your gameplay, my friend. Thank you for showing up and supporting what I do. Appreciate it. Have fun. Yeah, that war, that game, I'm going to be getting that one soon when the new one comes out, the Garnock or whatever they call it. And definitely, I'm interested in playing that. Akira, Akila. Hello, Akila. Kyra. Is Kyra or Kira? Kyra? Killer? Thank you for joining us, my friend. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, 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 I wrecked that bike badly. Wow. Bet you're here for your bike, right? Hey, yeah, I wrecked the guy. Keeping your hands clean. Now, while you're playing, if you happen to fall in the water and you lose your bike, you just go back to one of these camps and they'll retrieve it for you for a small fee. So, keep that in mind. What did I hit? Oh, that's what I hit. That's what I hit. That big boulder. infected so we can't collect the meat but we uh, get to collect the bounty bounty is money Let's see our progress in case we crash again
Let's see if we find a way around here. There we go. Look at the view. Look at the sun. You see the sun? That is moving the shade. Another one coming. Oh, it's Sally. Wow, I haven't seen Sally since yesterday. <laughs> I can sell this. It's the first time she shows up today. We're going to search in here first. We can make something out of this. Some alcohol. We have a rag. Uh, alcohol again. We have uh, some tape. We have band aids. A med kit. Come on, give me what I'm looking for. This is a pharmacy. It's an alarm clock. I need cans. Yes, so I can't pick that up. I have too many of those. Okay, here is a can. So now I can make an attractor. I can go and pick this up now. Since I just craft it. More alcohol. Another building here. Can't climb up, huh? Check this one. So this was a nest. Wherever you see filth like this, it was a nest. So at one point they were living here. Plenty of that. 
There's some ashes. I'm maxed out, so I don't. I can't pick them up. Wow. Not what I'm looking for. So let's go back to the motorbike. Save our progress. Jesus, something went down. Wonder if the poor bastards had anything worth looking for. Oh no, jump scare. Jump scare. They get me all the time, guys. <laughs> Marison Weather, what's up? Hey, Giovanni, what's going on, my friends? What's going up? Uh, thank you, thank you for joining me once again, Giovanni. Thank you, my friend, Baglio. I'm doing great, thank you for asking. How about you, my friend? It's a long time friend also from back in the day when I started. <laughs> Thank you so much, my friend, for your support. Thank you. Appreciate it. And we also have Morrison Better. Welcome back, Morrison. Thank you for joining us once again. I hope you're feeling well. I'm doing great. Sniper, sniper, sniper. Let's see where he's at. Oh, he's on the ground? Yes, he is. Just two of them. 
Here he is. Yeah. Now you can pick up the sniper rifle if you want to use it. I don't, Won't but I'm going to show you. This is what the sniper rifle does. You got to reload. Every time you got to reload, and it's out of ammo already. So we don't have extra ammo for this. So that means now it's useless. So you got to be careful. I want to pick up my weapon back. Because I have ammo for it on the saddlebag on the bike. Plus he's carrying some ammo. So, yeah, you can pick up those weapons and use them temporarily until they run out of ammo. And then you're done. Look at the deer, how pretty. Look at that. See, they're, they're defenseless. So why why take them down, you know? Even though this is the most valuable meat in the game. The most valuable meat. But I don't do that. Yeah, I don't do that. See a bear. Where did he go? Well, oh, let's continue. Not much in here either. Those blue markings are bear traps. This was the nest here too. something. I don't know. Oh, it's the dudes. It's the babies. Yeah, the babies. The toddlers, they're still crawling. I'm going to leave them alone. Uh, now the newts, if you have all your strength, energy, uh, they won't attack you. If they know you're weak, they will attack you, especially if you invade their territory. Then they will all jump you. That's the plant right here. I can use these. That's Bristol and Bristly Manzanilla or Manzanita. Cross over to another district. Okay, we are now, I believe. Uh, oh, you scared me, dude. Man. You got anger management? 
been proud of you. Go get some classes. Okay, I see. Okay, this is D. I thought it was a cougar chasing them. All right, so we are at um, Cascade. Cascade is a forest. That's just a forest in the game. There's a lot of wolves, cougars, bears, and zombies. Mountain Sorrel, which is a plant. You can make a salad. Okay, at one point, this, this river or this creek here was full of zombies, this whole area. So as you drove by, uh, they hear the sound of the motor and it will attack you. That's another thing. When you go to an area that's a lot of um, zombies, don't rev up your motor on the motorcycle. Just let it cruise, cruise, because they can hear the sound from the engine of the motorcycle and they'll come running after you. So try not to rev up your engine too much also because you waste your gas. In the beginning of the game, your gas tank is small. It doesn't hold as much gas. So don't rev up your engine too much. If you see a hill, just let your motorcycle coast instead of, you know, pressing the throttle and, and blowing all your gas when you don't need to. And you also, you're attracting the zombies because they can hear the sound and they'll come after you like you just did. This is the Reacher. That's how you put them down. So yeah, those are little clues that you gotta remember, little tips. Because if you burn your gas, then you're gonna have to walk to a gas station or just walk your bike there. And the way you walk your bike is like this. That would be it. So you have to make it all the way to the gas station doing that. So you don't want to do that. But you can actually, if you see a lot of zombies and you don't want to make a lot of noise, just walk your bike like this. So that way they don't know you're around. You can sneak up to them just by walking your bike. But if you're going downhill, just cruise. Let it coast. All right, I just saw a, 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 mine, a mine here. And it's called the White King Mine. And there's a plant right next to it. Mr. 8-Ball Paul, what's up, my friend? What's popping? It's been a while. How you been? Uh, this is Madrid. I'm still playing the same game. I'm on 100. This is 103rd episode. I need about seven collectibles to complete to 100%. But I'm still grinding, dude. Uh, I'm having a lot of problem finding uh, these parts. It's about seven, eight parts or six, seven parts. Very difficult to find them. I'm searching the caves, searching high and low. So 95%, I'm almost there, almost. So how you been, man? You gaming, still gaming? Hanging in there. Uh, what are you playing now? What game are you playing? Okay, let's turn on the flashlight. We're going to do a visual inspection of this area. Look, there's a lot of stuff, but I'm maxed out. Uh, moderate.
Yeah, when I finish this, I'm just going to uh, put it away and start a different game. I'm not going to get stuck on the same game forever, you know? Because that's a lot of games I want to play. There's too many games out there. Um, some of them my friends have recommended them, and some of them I, my son gave them to me as a gift. So, yeah, this is the 103rd episode. I'm, I'm hoping to finish... I'm hoping I can finish today, but these parts that I'm looking for, they're hidden away so well that I can't find them, and I'm searching the caves, I'm searching the buildings, I'm searching everywhere, everywhere, high and low. <sighs> yeah, that's it. You're always playing um, Days Gone only, so yeah, uh, Mr. A-Ball, Paul, He's a fan of this game, so he... How long have you been playing it for, uh, Paul? How many How many years? Have you been years on it? Because he always plays the same game over and over again. So he loves the game. So there's some fans out there, they, are, they, they just can't give up the same game. They just want to continue playing it. And in a way, they become professionals at that game. They could do speed runs. Uh, they could play at a different, uh, different difficulty levels. So, you know, I have Mr. Um, 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 Bundy Games. He's been playing GTA since it came out on 2013. So he's been playing that particular game for nine years. He's on the chat with us right now. So they become pros at those games. Uh, G-Stack, what's going on, my friend? Welcome again. How you been? Um, I don't think um, what I'm missing, I know what I'm missing. But where those items are at, it will be really difficult to find exactly if I could find a video on YouTube that tells me, hey, search here and this is where you're going to find it. It's going to be really difficult because it's a big map and I don't think they have coordinates. And if they do, how can you enter the coordinates and what specific items they are? Right now I'm looking for Nero Intel in this county is two. In this other county... It's complete 100%. In this county, I need one Nero Intel, right? In this county, I need two Nero Intel. And in, I'm right below, in this county, I need one Nero, and one tourist collectible, uh, two character collectibles, and one Nero Intel. So Nero Intel is the most difficult parts to find. Now, in Highway County, I only need one collectible. So, there's not a specific place that you can say, oh, go here, and you'll find what you're looking for. I don't think there's a video that can do that. Plus, I want to find it on my own. I don't like to cheat. I don't, my daughter plays games, and I don't allow her to put any cheat codes, because you're a cheater. I don't want her to be a cheater or anything. So I don't cheat. I don't set an example for her to cheat. So when we try to play, if friends are on the chat and they go, well, Harry, go here because it's right there, then I'll do that. But as far as looking it up in a magazine, you know, cheat codes or um, going to YouTube and finding a video that shows you where it's at, I, I don't like doing that. It defeats the purpose of saying, yeah, I defeated the game. No, I cheated, so I defeated the game. Uh, it doesn't sound as good, does it? But but thank you for your suggestion, G-Stack. I hope you're doing great. Well, thank you once again for joining me. And um, 1 o'clock, we're going to be playing Cyberpunk. Make sure you tune in. At 5 o'clock, I'm going to be playing The Last of Us Part 2. And then at GTA, I'll be playing that at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. So uh, make sure you guys have all your notifications on so you won't miss uh, any live streams. And also, don't forget, you could become a member and join for only $4.99, not $49, not yet. $4.99, uh, uh, and you become a friend's member from Harry Gameplay Channel. And the incentives are you get to play online when I go play online, live, uh, and there's other incentives uh, you, you will also get. So please, um, when you can, please, please subscribe or join. Uh, Mr. Eight Ball Paul says, oh, I'm guilty of that sometimes. Well, you know, hey, 
everyone has their own way of playing, so I support what you do. Hey, I support 100% if that's how you want to do it. But I'm going to continue playing, guys. I think I got about another 10 minutes. Yes, about 9 minutes. And then I'm going to be signing off for 15 minutes, and I'm going to come back, and I'm going to continue Cyberpunk. I'm on level 46. It only goes to level 50, so that game is almost done. Once I finish that game, I will be playing uh, Watchdog Legion, okay? So, and then at six o'clock, five o'clock, I'm playing The Last of Us Part Two. When I finish that game, I'm going to be playing uh, Dead Red Redemption Two. So those are upcoming games that I'm let you guys know about. And then also when I finish Days Gone, I will be introducing another game here at this time slot. So I continue playing games. I I, I finish one, I purchase another one, uh, or uh, my son gave me some games. I'll slide that game in there. So I, I'm just going to continue. There's a lot of games I want to play and not enough time. I'm doing 10 to 12 hours a day now, which is a lot of hours, and I'm doing it seven days a week. So you multiply 12 hours times seven days a week, I'm playing about 80-plus hours a week gaming. That's a lot of time. And, um, yes, so I, I like to continue playing different games. I don't want to get stuck on the same one, the same one, the same one. If that would have been the case, the first game I played was the Ghost of Tsushima. That's what I introduced to YouTube when I started. And um, it's 137 episodes. I started from the beginning to the end. And luckily, I got planning on that with the help of some friends. And um, that's 137 episodes. So that is the longest game that I played so far. This will be the second longest. Because right now, I'm at 103 episodes, 103 episodes. So... I don't know if they're going to find the parts that I need in another three episodes or another ten episodes. So we just have to wait and see. But thank you guys for your support. I appreciate you guys um, 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 watching what I do and liking what I do. And um, I'm going to keep grinding, 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 grinding. And it's going to distract me. Uh, here in Philadelphia, the temperature has changed. You know, soon it's going to be winter or fall, uh, which I love the fall. And I love the spring. The summer, if the temperatures are above 80, uh, not my cup of tea. And the winter, if the temperatures are below 50, not my cup of tea. <laughs> but hey, uh, the temperature soon is going to be changing, so I'm going to start wearing my hat and my hoodie. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, guys. So thank you. Thank you once again. Thank you. So let me uh, add about another five minutes, and we're going to uh, be signing up. So yeah, the cave. What's up? Uh, what did I do in the cave? I just went in and we left real quick. It wasn't. I didn't search it real well, did I? I just let me make sure I don't want to miss anything. See these markers. This market tells you what things are at. So I have to go search and first turn on the flashlight to make sure that it's not one of the items that is missing. So you have to do a visual inspection. It could be something that is, uh-oh, cave-in, that I'm looking for. He is one of the Nero Intel personnel. There's not much left of him. But these are the guys that carry the stuff. As a matter of fact, uh, the recorders or other items, well, my time is up. There are other items um, that I'm looking for. In here was an injector. I already found that previously, so... That's another thing. If you decide to play this game, make sure you take your time searching so you don't have to come back like I'm doing now. You know? If I would have done a very, very uh, thorough ex uh, 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 search, I, I probably wouldn't have had this problem. But I was so um, involved in running away and, and taking down the, the, the enemy that I just forgot. Then later I found out that, no, you have to collect these items. I'm like, oh, no. And it could be a note. It could be a flyer. It could be some information about the about the uh, the infection. And Nero personnel, it was like a government uh, group that was investigating what was going on, what was causing them to, to transform into these creatures. So... They did a lot of voice recording on these handheld recorders. So most of the Intel, uh, most of the parts that I need, I would say five out of eight are Intel recorders. And where you find them? In caves. 
I found most of them in caves, a lot of them in, in the Nero camps also. So, but I've searched every Nero camp, so I know there's no none at the Nero camp, and I know they have to be in caves. So I have to search in caves. I have to run all over the map and find caves, and then once I find those caves, do a visual inspection like we just did in that, um, it looks like a mine. It's not a cave, it's a mine. But um, yeah, caves and mines I have to search. So my friends, thank you so much for the likes. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate your support. Don't forget, uh, Harry's Gameplay Channel, there's over 900 live stream videos that I've done, about 20 different games. You can watch them anytime, any place, anywhere. You can share them with your friends. Uh, just do me a favor, smash the like button. And um, hey, don't forget, I will come back in 15 minutes today, and I'm gonna um, um, live stream Cyberpunk 2077. So stay safe. Okay, stay healthy. Much love to you guys. I love you from the bottom of my heart. Peace. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. It was a lot of fun.